Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today what we'll do is we'll take a look at setting up another um, add-on or a item from the Hacks Community Store, which is going to be a alarm panel. I'm not going to go into configuring it yet, um, but what we do have is all those sensors that I've set up previously that's what we'll go go ahead and use in the next video to set up within the alarm panel. So for this one, what I'll do is I'll quickly go ahead and just show you how to set this up and install all the information needed. And then after that, we can take a look at setting up an alarm system. There we go, guys. So as you can see, we are back in my installation. Not a lot has changed. It looks almost exactly the same the only difference in here is i did add the rest of the sensors as i mentioned in the son of sensors i'm not going to show you guys how to add each and every one um so i added those in here then also added in the alarm system and that's what i'm going to show you how to do today so i do have the alarm right here and then i also have the alarm showing up right here now i'm not going to uninstall the one that i have what i'll do is i'll use the same installation i used last time when i showed you guys how to install the themes so let me quickly move over to this one right here there we go so this one is exactly the same um the only difference in here is the theme that we installed on the previous one so this video is also going to depend on the fact if you have hacks installed or not if you do not have this installed you can go ahead in and take a look at my previous videos uh, i do have one showing you exactly how to install this it's a fairly simple process so once you have that installed to add the alarm panel what we'll do is we click on hacks right here then click on the integrations and then we'll search for the alarm option so we have a bunch of items in here maybe you do have an existing alarm mine is going to be with all my custom sensors so i'm not going to use any custom boards or anything i already have all my sensors listed in home assistant so all we need to do is just have a way of managing all the sensors and triggering an alarm and that's what the bw alarm would do for us so once we click on it all we do is we make sure we have the newest version we just click on install right here and that'll go ahead and install all the information we need we do need some we need to make some small additional um, configurations as well but i'll show you as soon as this has finished installing now with installing anything from the custom community store guys keep in mind that each item on here may have a different setup or a different way that it's going to work so that's why I'm using, uh, I'm showing you guys the information as I added to my installation. So, okay, so as you can see, it did install and it's telling us that the restart is pending. What I'll do is I'll click on the restart home assistant. But before I do that, I'm going to open up the repository because we need to do make some additional changes as well. So click on the repository and that'll open up a new tab and take you to that page for this specific component. So that'll take us to the page of this specific component. And then once we have that open, we can go in here and just restart home assistant and let that restart. So on here, I'm also going to clone and or download this one. So I'm going to download a zip file right here. What this does is um, the custom component work, but they don't include the resources BW alarm. So what we need to do is we need to add this item into our installation as well. So once Home Assistant restarted, we can see it already went in here and restarted. We'll go into our configuration folder for Home Assistant. So as you can see, we're back in here and nothing has changed. Everything still looks exactly the same. And that's because Home Assistant have no way of communicating with this specific item yet. So we still need to add the configuration YAML file to our installation. So with that file that we downloaded, I still have it right here. All we do is we open up our installation for our home assistant. So the way to do that is fairly simple. Just go 
uh, backslash backslash hasio.local. I know this one is different. Um, that's just because I don't want it to conflict with my existing host name of hasio.local. But once we're in here, we open up the config file or the config folder. And then once we're in the config folder, all we need to do is open up the hasio right here and then resources. We need to add the resources information in here. So as you can see, it has that BW alarm. So what I'll do is I'll go in and just drag it over here. So that's from the file that we downloaded. So once we have dragged that in here, we can go into the BW alarm and you'll see it shows us that YAML file. That's where the BW alarm config would be listed. So that should be good for now. The only additional thing we need to do in our config folder is add a additional line to our configuration.yaml file. So once we open up the configuration.yaml file of our home assistant, we can go all the way down and I'll leave this in the description as well. We just need to add a additional line showing them where to include that information. So we have the BW alarm listed. So hit the save button and then we need to restart home assistant again. Now you can probably do this before um, installing the add-on and adding the folder in there and then restart home assistant. I'm sure that should work, but I prefer doing it this way just to make sure it doesn't cause any trouble along the line. So let's go in and restart home assistant real quick and then I'll get back to you. There we go. So Home Assistant went in and restarted. Um, I, there was an error in my config. I didn't, I had a space right here. Remember it needs to be right at the start of a new line for this to be enabled. So once Home Assistant restarted, you'll see right here, it gives us the alarm option right here. So we can click on there and it should bring up the alarm panel. So um, I think it's still busy loading. There we go. So once we're in here, you see we have just home and away. That's just for arming it. Um, and the default password should be one, two, three, four. There we go. Now I'm sure you guys already would have a good idea of how to configure and setting this up. So you're welcome to go in and set up your alarm and configure your sensors. It's fairly simple and straightforward setting it up but I decided to leave that for the next video. And then once we did that, I'll go in and show you how to set up automations because having the alarm and having it configured still would not have any automations listed in our home assist installation to trigger anything. So once we have set up everything, we'll go in and configure some automations as well. But with that said, I think I'm gonna leave you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week.